I've always had really, really heavy periods. I really wish someone said it's not normal to have such a bad period and go and check it. But no one did. I couldn't get pregnant, so I did the full check. And I had polycystic ovary and endometriosis and low egg counts. And my fallopian tubes were blocked. <laughs> so it was like, it wasn't going to happen really. So I had a coil fitted in. It really sorted out my endometriosis and I don't have pain anymore. And, you know, it's really, really changed my life, really. And so that was one of the reasons I didn't actually realise my perimenopause had started because it sort of stops your period altogether. I've never had any problem sleeping and suddenly I just couldn't sleep anymore. You know, I would wake up about four or five times during the night and really hot. It feels like I'm a radiator, basically. And I was running slower and slower and slower and it really annoyed me that like I was losing muscles and I could really feel it in my body. The GP has been really, really good. And, you know, straight away she said it might be perimenopause. I got HRT straight away, given to me. And I think it sort of put me back to how I was feeling before. I didn't feel that sort of weakness in my bones. And, you know, if anything, I'm actually running faster than before I started feeling this perimenopause symptoms. So I feel much better now. And I do sleep much better. But I'm not getting much sleep at the moment because I've got a puppy. <laughs> yeah, I, I try to sort of enjoy m what I have instead of thinking about what I don't have. But I do feel conscious about what my body's going through and it's quite nice to be allowed to feel like I'm looking after my body more. I feel really lucky that the perimenopause hasn't affected me too much.